Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, which is larger? The cube root of three versus the fourth root of four. This is day 11 of our algebra February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebra problems. There's some pretty cool looking ones here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's write this in rational exponent form. Here are the notes right here. The bth root of x is equal to x to the power of one over b. So for example, the square root of x would be x to the one half. The cube root of x would be x to the one third. And the fourth root of x would be x to the one fourth, and so on. So we can rewrite the cube root of three as three to the one third, and the fourth root of four as four to the one fourth. Now from here, we have two fractions. Let's give these fractions a common denominator. This one third can be written as four twelfths, and the one fourth can be written as three twelfths. So we end up with three to the four twelfths versus four to the three twelfths. And next, four twelfths, that's the same thing as four times one twelfth. So we can rewrite three to the four twelfths as three to the four times one twelfth. And then on this side, we can rewrite four to the three twelfths as four to the power of three times one twelfth. And now using these notes, anytime you have a to the power of b times c, you can rewrite it as a to the b whole thing to the c. So this three to the four times one twelfth can be rewritten as three to the four whole thing to the one twelfth. And the four to the power of three times one twelfth can be rewritten as four to the three whole thing to the one twelfth. So now we have three to the fourth to the one twelfth versus four to the third to the one twelfth. Now from here, three to the fourth, that is three times three times three times three. So this can be written as 81 to the one twelfth. And then four to the third power is four times four times four. So this changes into 64 to the one twelfth. And going through all these steps, we've not changed the value of these at all. So 81 to the one twelfth power is the exact same thing as the cube root of three. And 64 to the one twelfth power is the exact same thing as the fourth root of four. Since 81 is greater than 64, 81 to the 1 12th will be greater than 64 to the 1 12th. So the cube root of 3 is greater than the fourth root of 4. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It's the 3 to the 4 to the 0 to the 4 to the 3th root of 27th root of 64th root of 81 to the power of the square root of 4 to the power of the 24 minus the sum of 1 to 6 of nth root of 81. This looks like it'll be a fun one. How exciting.